Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use my row hook, um, disc Roblox to Discord web hook that I've created. Um, link to it will be in the description. But the first thing you want to do, we just delete this real quick. The first thing you want to do is open the toolbox and go to my models, and then you should see row hook. After you installed it, you should see row hook right here. So you just want to insert that to your game and put it in server script service right here. And go ahead and open that script. And right here you should see um, a variable that says webhook URL. And in here it should say URL here. This is where you want to put your webhook link at. So to get to create a webhook, you want to go to your Discord server. You want to go to server settings. You want to go to integrations. I'm going to go to webhooks, you want to go to new, and then create one right here. So I've already created one right here, the exploit bot. And this basically is the webhook. So you want to click copy URL, and you want to paste it right here in the URL link. And then that's it. That's pretty much it. Down here, you see an example that's commented out. You want to remove this and this, that text. And right here, you should see the function send report player and then reason. And then you see all this. This basically just, you know, creates the embed and sends it to uh, the Discord server using HTTP service. You also want to make sure in your game settings, you go to game settings, go to security. Make sure enable studio access to API services on and allow HTTP requests on. And basically right here, when a, a player is added to the game, after five seconds, it'll send the report. It'll call the send report function and basically this player and then the reason will be doing bad stuff. So let's just go over to server settings right here. I'm just going to set my webhook real quick to go to the channel I'm already in, like that. Boom. Okay. Now, let's test it out. Let's go ahead and click play. And after five seconds, it should send right here. Exploit bot. It shows my little character right there. Uh, Lua escape. Take for doing bad stuff. Account age and user ID. Just like that. So that's pretty simple. You can also edit this to like do whatever you want. Like if you want this to just be like, uh, if you want the reason to be, let's say, it could literally be anything. Just put anything. And since this is basically used to log when a cheater gets kicked, if you kick somebody, so like say uh, your anti-cheat kicks someone or something, and your anti-cheat, you could just do send report player reason just like that it should be it's that simple but yeah if you have any questions just leave it in the comments and i'll be sure to answer them